Welcome to another episode of Problematic the Podcast. What got in the building with me today? Your boy, Modern J.O. from the north side of Redding, Pennsylvania, man. <laughs> Modern J.O. from the mm-hmm. north side of Redding, Pennsylvania. Gotta have two names. I was just J.O., but gotta have Modern J.O. Why Modern? Because I feel like I make modern day, you know, R&B music, bringing back like old school vibes and shit, but making it modern. So I feel like if it's Chris Brown, if it's, you know, Michael Jackson... Modern J.O. You know I feel you. So you better keep your music current and up to date. Right. No, I like that. That's what's up. You know what I, mean? I don't know why that shit acted like the cops was outside. Yeah, it was great. Quick. You're like, hold up. I don't have any <laughs> warrants, bro. <laughs> no warrants over here, bro. But what's up? What's up, man? How are you? I'm all right. Stay it out the way. I see that. How's the music? Ain't great. The music is great. Got a lot of... Um, Shit coming out, but yeah, it's going good, Choke. <laughs> Always glad to hear yes, that. Sir. <laughs> no, we never really sat down, did no interview. I don't know too much about you. No, I'm joking. Oh, I'll say then. This, this is for the people. Mm-hmm. This is a little. This is a little different. You know what I mean, so give us like your earliest inspirations growing up in Redding, Pennsylvania, and making music, and how that shaped like your R and B style. So, basically, I'm born and raised here, and shit like that. Um, I. From me growing up, I always been into music. You know what I'm saying? My family was already always was always into music in the church. My grandma played the piano. My granddad played the bass, the guitar. My mom played the bass and the drums and shit. So I feel like I inherited it from my mom. I played the keyboard and the drums. So just being in church and just playing different shit, I just felt like, oh shit, I think I can sing too. So when we was young, uh, my, my grandma had a group called the Little Silver Tones. Me and all my cousins and shit. And we, I, I used to sing at different functions and, you know, shit like that. So I was like, fuck it, let me just get out the group like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> so did my own you broke, shit. You broke the group up? You was the first one to leave? I, no, like, we got older. We was young. Like, we was, like, kids, kids. Like, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, 10, 11 type shit. So we just got older. And, you know, reality started kicking in and shit. I'm like, fuck it, I can really do this shit. So that's how you get J.O., man. I just felt like I needed two names. So you got a lot of your your inspiration from church and playing right. instruments and singing like that. Mm-hmm. That's a, you know that's a good background for. But I never sang at the church. Though. You never sang in church. I never sang at church. I always played the instruments because they always needed somebody to play the instruments. So if there was a drummer that wasn't there, right? If there wasn't a keyboard player that wasn't there, I never sang. So okay, I never decided. Why to. not? I don't know. It's bunch of like hypocrites in church and a bunch of like critics and opinions period in church you know what i'm saying i feel that i feel that like you can actually tell when somebody's not feeling your shit if you look at them in the congregation versus a fucking stadium and shit you know what i'm saying you can actually point out that people who's like like i don't like that shit or i don't like how you sound you know what i'm saying so i just never did it and plus i do r&b i just don't like going back and forth so where's the first place you sang at it was at this um it was. It's called Mikasa Sukasa. Shout out to them. Um, my my man Brad was having an event there. I remember. Yeah. Brad so used to do the uh, the talent shows. Yeah, there. and like that was my first time ever fucking singing in front of like people. You know what I'm saying? For real. What, bro? I got up there. The music was playing. Turn around, started crying. Nervous as fuck. Nervous as shit, man. Turn around. Did the song, got off stage, was like, yo, I would never do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? Then people came up to me, was like, yo, being this is your first time, that was good that you even got up there and did it. Right. Being that I was a kid before, and we were just kids, and people just thought that shit was cute. You know what I'm saying? Versus me being an adult, like, oh shit. Yeah, see, you know. Right. So it's like, that's that's all happened, man. That shit was just crazy. Cried in front of a bunch of people he didn't even know. Me didn't it in front of fucking everybody I didn't know, bro. You know that shows a lot of transparency, bro. It takes a everybody ain't doing that. I ain't doing no, that shit. No, and now I'm performing in front of people that you know, right. like I'm very confident in what I'm doing now. You know what I'm right. saying? All the time. I've been on billboards. I've been stages in New York, Philly, all like all this shit, bro. Like, no, that's what's up. I'm 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 confident now. So walk me through your creative process. You writing something new? An R and B song. 
Because you do it all. You play in drums and piano. So. Yeah, but I don't produce, though. Nigga, when I first met you, you was making a beat. Anymore. Selling a selling beat. Anymore. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's too aggravating. It's like, I'm looking for the specific sound and I can't find it. And it's like not corroborating. The math ain't mathing. I'm closing the so, fucking session, bro. So that doesn't have like when you when you making a song in your head, you don't have like. Of course, I get sound. writer's block. Yeah, like I get no, right, I mean, like not writer's block. Like you don't have that sound in your head from when you write. Like when you writing a song, you don't have a sound in your head of how you want it to go. Yeah, yeah, I do, but I'd rather sing this shit than rather be in a fucking program and come up. You know what I'm saying like it's just all technical for me, and I was like, okay, I can't do it. Like I might as well just put all that thought into into the song, right? Cause my voice is an instrument, right? Yeah. So I'm always used like that. Fuck it. I ain't gonna make no damn beat. That's why I got you, Frank, Stacks. You know what I'm saying? To help me out. I feel that. Tell y'all what I'm hearing and shit, cause I can't do that shit. So how do you describe your unique sound? As like a modern day usher. A modern day usher. Yeah, that's the that's the reaction I've been getting from a lot of people ever since I started doing this shit. And then I started hearing myself, like, playing my shit back. It's like, not to toot my own horn, but I do kind of sound, sound like Bull. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying I'm him or I, I want to sound like him, but unfortunately, I... It, That's just the direction you're Yeah, using. like, you know what I'm saying? Going. I feel that. And the first time I heard about Usher, I thought he was an a Usher in church type shit. For real? Nigga, what? <laughs> you know what? I That's thought, just because you was at church. Yeah, you used to to. right. You know what I'm saying? And all this shit was like, yeah, Usher, Usher. Like, what Usher are you talking about here? Like, they're, they're all old ladies type shit. Like, right, right, right. And then I they broke it down like, no, this is Usher. Was you w- waiting to meet that nigga? Go to church one day and you'd be like, oh, this dude. He oh bring, yeah, he like like at the joint. Right, never met him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying so. Ever since I knew that was Usher, like, like oh shit. So you say you had some performances in Philly, New York, OT. Give us a, like a memorable performance. Or it was, was it, me. Or was it me, Casa Su Casa? No, nah, it was me. It was me and my man H. Shout out to H Skyline. Um, OTH. I don't know what he want me to call him, but it's OTH now. I just did an interview with him like two days ago. Yeah, it's my yeah, but I I call him what I call him when I right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but OTH. Um, we was doing a show in New York. Um. There were some dudes that was singing this shit. I felt kind of intimidated and shit. And there was this chick that was sitting right in the like in the front of the fucking row and shit. I'm like, yeah, I got my eyes on her. I'm going to try to serenade her so I can, you know what I'm saying? Right. Bro, I started singing this shit. I come around and started singing to the bitch. She turns right around. Bro, I was like, I would never try to serenade a bitch ever again. <laughs> like, like, I would never, like, for the simple fact that that happened... And she knew I was looking at her, and she was just like, like on some New York shit, like, girl, like, like you she, know what I'm saying? She's had a bad attitude about it. Yeah. She wasn't with it. Yeah, she wasn't with it, bro. That's, that's fucked up. She wasn't with it. Cause I feel, I, I, I think she was feeling the other R&B singer. Oh, there was another R&B singer? Maybe that was her boyfriend or right. whoever. Well, he was light-skinned. So that's how you feel? It was a light-skinned yeah, nigga thing? Dang. Yeah, man. All right. Shout out to all light-skinned niggas, man, but. Yeah. Star skin niggas, I come back like Tyrese type shit. Like we gotta come back, brother. We gotta. You know what I'm saying. I feel you. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be, and why? T Pain, Chris Brown, Capella Gray, Usher. Those are just like off the top of the head for the simple fact that they. They can actually make a song and sing a song how it's supposed to be sang. Like, like you couldn't hear nobody else on that song besides that person. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of other artists that's actually like that, but those are the ones I can actually think about. But there's mad things that they do in their songs and their lyrics and how they just play shit. And it's like, it's crazy. And Usher's at the top of the list for real, for real. Just how the harmonies is and how the cadences and how the... The placements are, it's just it's just crazy. No matter if you wrote the shit or not. It's just how he laid the shit down. It's crazy. No, yeah. music is music. And then T-Pain is like, come on, man. Yeah, he's a musical genius. Come on, man. Like, I watch his shit on YouTube type shit. Like, I watch his recording sessions and how he actually, like, goes about recording a type of track. And it's right. like, 
damn. So I just implied into some of my tracks too in the work. And Capella Gray, he's just the vibe. He's, the, the, it's just the vibes. The vibes is there. So the vibes, bro. I think he produces too. He makes his own Yeah, beats. he plays the piano, plays the drums a little bit. Try that shit, nigga. You can do it. <laughs> it's just aggravating, man. It's like, I can't, like, I'd rather sit with somebody that can actually do all that shit faster than what I can do it. I feel you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they do. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? So, aside from that chick that dubbed you at that show, you got any other uh, good fan engagements? Yeah, always at Reverb. Always at Reverb. Shout out to Reverb and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like shit like that when like celebrities come out here or whoever comes out here and shit and they have like op like openings, whatever. It's just love every time. So every time I go to Reverb, bro. Or anytime I'm on any type of stage. You know what I'm saying? I can't really put a I just remember all the bad and stupid shit. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, pretty cool, man. What's going on with uh with your videos and your content? You know, like artists these days, you definitely need content. Yeah, hell yeah. Fucking TikToks and YouTube shorts and reels and all that the, shit the, to stay relevant. The you thing with that is <coughs> I got kids. <coughs> I got shit to take care of. I, I got it's reality type shit and right. videos are money, man. Right. You gotta pay for studio time, you gotta, like all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit is on the way. Shit's in the works. I'm working with a uh, Jago. You know what I'm saying? Um, he recently did a uh, body that's on YouTube right now. Okay. Um, he did that. Shout out to the dancer that was actually in it, Raina. She did her thing. But yeah, I got a lot of shit that's on the works right now. Um, my single operator. I'm working on that other uh, video, I'm trying to get that to y'all as soon as possible. Oh, so you're always trying to keep your music modern, you know, it's in your name. How do you see the the genre of R&B evolving? Like how it's been since you first got introduced to it to like how it is now? It's like a it's like a roller coaster, man. Like. R and B isn't dead, but R and B is at a point where I was about to say that nigga said that shit. Diddy said that shit was dead, but who listens to Diddy, Diddy now? Diddy killing shit. We ain't listening to Diddy no more. You know what I'm saying, what like, I'm, I'm saying, like, who's even listening to Diddy anymore? Like, you know what I'm saying, but R and B isn't dead, but R and B isn't on a rise, so to say. Like, the females got the shit like down packed. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just the niggas that that we own some shit. Like, we gotta compete with. Like the rappers that's actually doing what we're doing, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like the genres change and shit. So it's hard to make a love song when the next rapper nigga can do the same shit in the auto tune. Like you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. But we're on. We're I'm trying to make a comeback, bro. I'm trying I to make a it. fucking comeback, bro. I feel it. I feel like the lanes are just getting intertwined somewhere. I don't know who started it, but you're getting intertwined somewhere. What's the biggest challenge you face in your music career? Critics. I like I know I'm my worst critic, but it's like, no matter how much, how long you've been doing this shit, you're always gonna get somebody else's opinion and feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only Not always, man. Fuck them niggas. Right. And that, and that like, like that's what I said. You I like I am my own worst critic, but it's like, God damn, nigga, like. You know what I'm saying? But I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing, hey. That's where I'm at. How do you find like inspiration when you write your music? Like real life shit? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, hell yeah, real life shit. I can't write over somebody else's experience, bro. It's all real life. If I feel some type of way, I'm gonna write it down. Period. No matter if I got a beat or not. Cause I'm trying to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? So Everything is inspiration, bro. I feel that. You prefer live performances or studio sessions? I like studio sessions. For the simple fact that you can fuck up and go back and then do it again. If you mess, bro, if you mess up a live performance, bro, do you know how? Alicia Keys, the Super Bowl, with Usher, you ain't hear that? 
Ah, she messed up? What you oh, messed up? One, once we get off this podcast, you play it back. Like, she was like, the, like the nose was off, bro. But, nah, I, I'd rather do a studio session rather, rather than a live performance. But I, I'll do a live performance, though, but studio sessions is way better. What question do you feel that, like, fans should ask you more often? How old are you? You want them to ask you your age more often? Yeah. How like how old do you think I look? Well, I still get carded, bro. Okay. That's fucked up, bro. I got three three children, bro. You just grew up my stash. See what I'm talking about? And and <laughs> and, and my man Chill ain't got no type of shit. And he, guess how old he is? My age. You used to just have the patch, just a couple of little squigglies down yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember them gone. <laughs> now you got a mustache. I'm saying. You, see, you know that shit grew with every child. You had that, and you got the, the joint right here. The and then I got, joint, yeah. then you got the mustache. Fuck you, man. <laughs> that is not how it went. That is not how it went, brother. I'm saying. Yeah, whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. But I still got that balloon waiting for your son, man. <laughs> Yo, bro. I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm not even gonna talk about it, but yeah. Where do you see the future of R and B headed? How do you plan to keep that part of your journey? It's headed in a good direction, man. Shout out to all the females that's actually keeping that shit alive. That's actually, you know, paving the way for a lot of different young R and B, you know, females and shit like that. But it's it's happening. It's it's happening like that in rap too. Females are taking over, bro. And I'm not even mad at it. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm not even mad at that shit. Not for a while, or by, uh I do radio like every Saturday. Mm. So in my mixes for since pretty much since I started doing this shit, I've been doing it for almost a year and some change now. A lot of my mixes contain like straight sets of female rappers. Right. Before I play a male rap song. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, they they're really dominating the culture right now. Mm -hmm. I just recently my last mix was more uh was more male influence but still there's a high number of mm -hmm. females in there it's more than there's ever been before for real and that's lit that is so and that's r&b and hip-hop you know what i mean that's, that's on lit. both sides of the shit that's lit bro and shout out to the females again man because they are the one that's actually keeping the straight road for r&b like money long fucking like there's different females bro. i can't really think about the top of my head but shout out to money long bro right. shout out to her all the r&b females bro like real rap even the local ones. Yeah. There's a few local ones out here singing this shit, too. I'll be seeing y'all show these. All right. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing y'all thing. But yeah, man. And before we get out of here, tell the people where to find you at. Modern J.O. all major platforms, man. Spotify, um, Apple Music, all major platforms. Modern J.O. Um, IG, Modern underscore J.O. NGM, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. 